welcome folks it is uh actually sunday i believe february 6th we have reached mark chapter 3 and that's where we will continue i'm on the thames river again but in thorndale chapter 3 of mark and he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. And he saith unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth, and he saith unto them, Is it lawful for to good, do good on the Sabbath day, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked around about them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. And the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. But Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea. And a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea, and from Jerusalem, and from Idumea, and from beyond Jordan, and they about Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him. And he spake to his disciples that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should throng him. For he had healed many insomuch that they pressed upon him for to touch him, as many as had plagues and unclean spirits, when they saw him, fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. And he straightly charged them that they should not make him known. And he goeth up into a mountain and calleth unto him whom he would. And they came unto him. And he ordained twelve that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sickness and to cast out devils. And Simon he surnamed Peter, and James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, and he surnamed them Bonagiers, which is the sons of thunder, and Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James the son of Alphaeus, and Theodos and Simon the Canaanite. And Judas Iscariot, which also betrayed him, and they went into a house. And the multitude cometh together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay on, lay hold on him, for they said, He is beside himself. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He hath Beelzebub, and by the prince of the devils casteth he out devils. And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom be divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, all sin shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation, because they said he hath an unclean spirit. There came then his brethren and his mother, and standing without sent unto him, calling him, and the multitude sat about him. And they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he looked round about, of the, about on them which sat about him, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. We will continue with number, chapter number four of Mark. And he began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea, and, on the, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables and he said unto them in his doctrine hearken behold there went out a sower to sow and it came to pass as he sowed some fell by the wayside and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up and some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth but when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. Another fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased, and brought forth some thirty, and some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, 
let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were with him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted, and their sin should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will you know all parables? The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they, he they have heard, Satan cometh immediately, and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things and entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit some thirtyfold some sixty and some a hundred and he said unto them is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed and not to be set on a candlestick for there's nothing hid which shall not be manifested neither was anything kept secret but that it should come abroad if any if any man have ears to hear let him hear and he said unto them take heed what ye hear, with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that, that hath, to him shall be given, and he that hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he hath. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how, for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, and after the full corn and the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. And he said, Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God, or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up, and becometh greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. And with many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expanded all things to his disciples. And the same day when the even was come, he said, unto them, Let us pass over on to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, even as he was in the ship. And there were also with them other little ships. And there rose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest not Carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Thank you for coming. That'll be all for now. Have a great day, and always remember that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Love you, friends and family and folks. Hopefully the word of God stretches forth.